The Venezuelan presidential election is just over a month away. While much of the international community and opposition have called it a sham vote, one prominent politician has decided to take on Maduro anyway. Local 10's Cody Weddle gives us an exclusive access to Henry Falcone and his strategy to defeat Maduro, despite those who say it's impossible. Several recent polls actually give Henry Falcón an edge over Maduro in next month's elections. They hope to continue that momentum even as many sectors of the opposition say these elections will be rigged. He's the candidate hated by the government and the traditional opposition. He hopes that could make him the next president of Venezuela. Henry Falcón, former Chavista turned defector, now defying the opposition he was a part of, deciding to not boycott next month's elections. De este Local 10 getting exclusive access to Falcón as he traveled between rallies, giving this message to Venezuelans in South Florida. Saying here that no authoritarian government in the world will give the best electoral conditions, it's not possible, he says. Even though they're not optimal conditions, they could be the same as the 2015 elections. Falcón now trying to convince voters of just that, but he must also combat apathy from those suffering the crisis. The Perez twins watching his rally from their balcony only four years ago, they looked like this. But today, they're 66 pounds lighter, turning to the camera to speak to Venezuelans in South Florida. I waited for you. They say they won't vote in what they call fraudulent elections. I took their photos to Falcón. We can't get out of the crisis. We can't resolve the economic problems or the social problems if we don't use a democratic option, he responds. And so the question remains for Falcón, not only whether he can turn out his base, but if he wins, whether the electoral authority here would recognize that result. Reporting in Valencia, Carabobo State, I'm Cody Weddle, Local 10 News.